Oh, 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 I, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, you shouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to the today's video. I just want to show you how to get some more FPS in Counter Strike. And I've wrote down the list with a couple of tweaks. Some of them are in Windows and on the desktop. And the second part, which is all, uh, also on this video, is going to be in game. But first of all, we're doing the desktop part. And the first thing you can do is go into your normal task manager, go to auto start and just deactivate everything which you don't need. So Origin, Spotify, Google Chrome, Skype and all that stuff, just deactivate it. I only have my Place TV, Logitech and Steam and Nvidia thing on activated. The other stuff is completely unnecessary. So after that, we're going to type in ms config and we're going to start and then no gui start and 10 seconds after that go to advanced options processor amount and put this to the highest number then you go to services and first of all hide all the microsoft stuff and then you see um lot a lot of other services and you can pretty much deactivate all of them and then go manually through them um, to check some because we need Steam. Um, we need Place to be, so I need it, and then all the Nvidia stuff because otherwise I couldn't see shit because my graphic cards wouldn't be working. Um, that's about it, or? Yeah, all the other stuff I don't need, like iTunes and Dropbox. So we click apply and click OK and don't restart yet because we have some other stuff to do and otherwise you would have to restart your PC every single second. Next step, go to your PC, click on properties, advanced thing here, you know what I mean. Then go to um, advanced, go to settings and click on for optimal performance or something like that. This is uh, going to remove all the unnecessarily effects like closing a window when you click on this. Normally it would getting smaller and smaller, you know, but it just disappears and I don't know, it's no preference, but I think it's unnecessary and you can get some more FPS and I like to have a lot of FPS in Counter-Strike because it's very competitive. So I deactivate that, but it's not a must like all of this. But if you want to have the best result, just do all the stuff I do. Next thing is going to be right click on your PC, manage, then go to services and applications. I have to translate it all in my head. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then go to services again, press anywhere and then, no, I don't want to change the name and just press the W key. And then you are at the Windows services, click on Windows search, double click it and start up tight. It, I think it's on automatic or automatic uh, delayed. We just put deactivated, click apply, click OK, and we are done here. Now we're going to the control panel. Click on, uh, our oh, energy options isn't here, so I'm just going to search it. Yeah, click on that. So power supply options or something like that. And click on this, this thing here. So we can close that. And now we're going to the NVIDIA panel. I'm sorry for AMD and Intel users. I had an AMD graphics card myself for like four years, but now I switched to NVIDIA. I, I try to find a video and put it in the video description, but that's all I can do. But for all the other NVIDIA users, just click on the NVIDIA panel, wait for it to load, click on the first one, go to custom here and put the little error thing down to performance and not to quality. The quality is uh, going to be a lot worse, but uh, you got some more FPS and that's the reason why you're watching this video. Then we, after that, we're going to a 3D settings and scroll down to vertical synchronization, which is G-Sync, I think. I, I'm not even sure. And I think it's on settings for 3D applications, but uh, just put it to, to no and then click apply. And don't forget that because otherwise it's not saving the settings, uh, the changes you just did. And we can close that too. Now we're going to type in percent temp percent and going to the temporary folder. 
and here are all the temporary cache things stored like if you are in Photoshop and you're making something and you press Control Z to go a step back, the last step is saved up here. And it's taking up a lot of space and it's always good to have more space on your C drive or the drive where your operating system is installed. So just delete everything which is in here. I just did that uh, a time ago, so there's nothing special in here. And I can't delete this because it's used at the moment. but. You should clear some uh, some space with that and it's also um, speeding up your system. What we're doing in the last step is we're doing something in the registry. So for that, first of all, we go into the Explorer, click on here, Properties, Device Manager, go to the Graphics Card, double click on it, go to Details, go to Hardware ID and then we got this name here and we have to remember that. After that, we're going to rich edit. And my path is already open, but it's pretty much this. Edge key local machine, system, current uh, control set, enum, PCI, then uh, the key you got right here. Um, it, it's a, maybe a different one for you, but for me it's this one and just take the first one in the line. And it's the one one CO, it's, it's this one. Open this folder here, go to device parameters, go to interrupt manager and click on this one. What we're going to do in this folder here, we're going to make a new key and then pass in this name. It's down in the description um, so you get it right. And when we're in here, we're just doing a new dword value 32-bit. It doesn't matter if you have your 64-bit system or a 32-bit system, we're doing a 32-bit value. Click on that and name it MSI supported. Double click on it, set the value to one and click OK. Now we are done. And what you're going to do now is to reta reset your computer. And I see you later. Halfway into editing this video, um, I saw that the Steam part uh, didn't have a microphone attached. So uh, there's no sound. Nice. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a right click on Counter Strike properties and then uh, set launch insurance. And you see all these pretty things here. And the only thing you know uh, you need is a Novit high uh, and refresh one, uh, 144. Um, all the commands are down in the description. Um, Novit is skipping the intro. High is setting their uh, process a priority from csgo.exe on high. So the processor sends uh, the priority of his capacity to Counter-Strike and yeah, refresh rate is uh, the refresh rate of your monitor. So now that we're in game, we can uh, just go to options, video settings and yeah, I have my brightness all to the left. I have my color mode on television and not computer monitor because then it's a little bit brighter and I like that. My aspect ratio is on 16 to 9 and my resolution is uh, on uh, year one, uh, 1920 by 1080. My display mode is full screen, please. I know some people like it when they can tap out fast out of the game and they play full screen windowed, but please, by the love of God, play normal full screen. This gives you such a way smoother game and yeah, just do it when you don't have it. Then uh, laptop power saving on disabled and all the other stuff on low and very low and disabled and disabled and disabled, you know. Uh, just the shader details, I would have them on very high so you can the shadows of enemies. Uh, this is giving you a nice advantage, but otherwise everything on low and disabled. And I'm getting around 300 to 400 FPS by uh, 16 to nine. But if you want to play with 4x3 uh, I can even get 500 up to 600 FPS but it, in the end after 200 to 600 FPS you don't have any difference I think but it's still nice to have the extra numbers you know but I think um, I could help you guys and uh, I hope I could help you guys and I think well, I hope that uh, if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and I try to get to you and help you each individually thanks for watching this video and have a nice day